is the guy's morning meal. Protein shakes. And by Tasty Way. Mondays are going to be a lot more rigorous on our side, on staff. You guys still have Monday's day off, but I want you guys to know, um, you know, we had those exit interviews at the end of the split. We know what you guys want out of coaching staff and improving, getting to, you know, where we want to place playoffs and succeeding in playoffs or maybe getting to Worlds. I am Jake Fife. I'm the general manager of Echo Fox's league team. So I worked with Gravity last year. Um, when Rick Fox was looking to purchase a team slot, they were looking at Gravity. He did buy Gravity and uh, he brought me on board as an operator. The big difference between managing Gravity and Echo Fox is probably the infrastructure, the ownership, um, the staff, Rick Fox. Uh, last year on Gravity, the owner was, it was kind of a recreational uh, project for him. He was, uh, he took a year out of college. He was a younger guy. But Rick Fox, he came in as a, you know, ex-championship player. Um, to pilot this team all the way to you know the championship. So it's a completely different focus. He's brought on a lot of staff additions that we didn't have before. We have a, a huge team of analysts, content creators, social media that we just never had at Gravity. So it's night and day difference. We need everyone to work harder. So we're, we're ramping it up on our end and things are gonna be a little bit more um, structured and time consuming on your end too. Um, everyone's working harder across the whole board. So if, you don't, is, if you don't set the goal of becoming a champion, then you'll never move towards that. So I, I, make, I wanna make sure, I, and I have, I think, that they reach for what they feel might be unobtainable today, but is gonna require a ton of work to get there. I want them to head down that road and they have to make that, they have to take that first step in that direction. And it has to be so far out that, that that they know it's out there, they know they're heading there, and they're going to get there, but that the, in order to get there, they have to just pay attention to the day. Every Tuesday, I'm gonna go through the whole week with you guys and make sure you guys know what's happening on, on our schedules, and, and Cop and, and Jason and Taylor will get into it a little bit more. I guess Lucian's nerfed now, right? Mm -hmm. Lucian's nerfed now, correct? Yeah. Do you think, do you think playing Caitlyn could be good for us? Cause it seems like Caitlyn and Ash go even. I'm pretty sure. Is that how you feel? Yeah, in lane. I think Ash almost beats anyone in level six. But then, what do you, what do you th like in team fight? How do you like? Caitlyn's good. Maybe they're both better. like really good, right? So I was in I was in college for one quarter, and I decided that I wanted to go pro, and then I grind into rank one of North America, and that's when Rick Fox noticed me and wanted me to join his team. It felt really refreshing to finally get a starting spot because, you know, I just kept subbing on all the teams and I never got to play, actually. So it felt refreshing to know that someone actually believed in me and my skill to, for to perform. Uh, I would say my expectations for this split is top five in playoffs because we're going to have our full team uh, the whole split, and I know that we can perform well. I think when I play against them, Ash is better than Caitlyn in Ash team fights, yeah, like yeah. way better, so because of the mid champions that's played right now, like Vladimir, Swain and stuff. Mm -hmm. As Caitlyn, you actually can't do anything. Well, he plays weird stuff too. Like if you can put up a siege, you can do stuff, but Ash can do the same thing, but just spamming volleys and slowing them. Once like Ghost runs out, uh, it pretty much forces the mid lane to take Ghost instead of TP if they actually want to kill you in team fights. 
with Caitlyn, you kind of just die and don't do anything until you have five, six items. After All Stars, me and Rick started talking and I mean, I eventually ended up here after we had been through negotiations and all that kind of stuff. Moving somewhere else is not really that new to me, so that wasn't a difficult decision, but I mean, choosing between other teams, that was like probably the difficult part, but I just liked how everything, like how uh, Rick wanted to structure everything, um, his ideas about uh, the team and like the mentality in Aircofox, I really liked. We improve all the time, it should be from a day-to-day -day basis. Um, so yeah, both inside and outside of the game, I think they have all grown as players and, and individuals. Obviously some days are tougher than, than others and some days we learn more, but um, we just have to keep improving every day, so it's a steady improvement. I would be pretty disappointed if we don't make it to playoffs. Um, then after that, I mean, anything can happen, right? So I think it's just important that we just focus on, on ourselves. Oh, I think it's important to talk about like interviews we're doing and stuff sure. and not leaking strategy yeah. and especially like when we go to player summits and stuff like yesterday try to focus on not talking about the game with other people like we're gonna leak strats so try to keep that down like just generally don't talk about strategy with other people like sometimes it's helpful like you can ask people questions exploring options and like picks and stuff is fine to talk with other people like that's needed to learn but yeah, I just want to bounce a little bit off that and just to say like, you know, you guys don't know, haven't known us for that long, but just know that we're all here to support you and anything you need, just come up to us with it and we'll try and do our best to help you guys. Um, and then just to add a quick thing about uh, some out of game stuff, we're going to try and work on a lot of out, of out of game like team building stuff and our conversation with Rick the other day. Um, I think that was really insightful. So like we're gonna be uh, trying to mirror like the LCS settings, like getting water in between scrims or getting snacks in between scrims, um, echoing each other when we communicate. That's something that we all could uh, improve on. And I think that will uh, benefit our communication a lot, so. My expectations is that we just continue to improve daily. That as an organization, we remain committed to supporting our players so that they continue to grow in their excellence. And if we do that day to day, the wins and losses, they are what they are, and they usually tend to tip more to the side of Ws when you're doing that. So that's where my expectations lie today. Yeah, I have four items, I'm actually huge. Just focus on the dealing then. Why is he allowed to farm? Why did you go for that pick? Which pick? Why did you go for the pick right there? I think it's perfectly fine if you guys don't get trumped and hold an entire. Okay, yeah. I cannot. You will die at full health, three I, people in the entire. Yeah, four people. He, 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 usually when Tony says something, it's like pretty, it's usually correct. Like when he, when he does make a call. So probably try to trust him more. But in the same way, he needs to be more adamant, he needs to call that rotation. But I don't know if, if it's worth it holding. But thinking about it more, I don't think it's worth it holding. I share a room with Keith and I, I, t I probably talk to him the most out of everybody. Uh, we, we joke around, we, we always toss up like friendly banner to each other. I think our, our team improved a lot to the point where I don't think we screw up lane swaps as much as anymore. And I think uh, our, our communication is, is better, especially with KFO. I think it, those are the, just the two big areas where we improved on. Yeah, I want you to be forceful. You need to be forceful or we're just going to lose games. Like, everyone needs to be forceful. If you see a call that's good, like just call it. It's like yeah. you're just scared to actually make the call, I think. You're not confident in your own call. Like we're trying to fix our communication. We need to be more clear on what we want to do. 10.30, next split. It's like this game's already pretty fucking hard to win. Rift Herald. I believe you have to have a vision uh, for yourself that leads you to a championship. You have to see yourself as be, as a champion. You have to know that you are moving towards becoming a champion and that means you have to believe, you have to set that goal. I want to become a champion at what I'm doing. My expectations and the one thing I require of all of us in this organization is that we move every day with that focus in mind. That we improve every day and that it's as we move down that path to a championship, the only way to hold a trophy at the end of the day is to have that vision of yourself holding that.
And how do you get there? You do it by every day improving. One day at a time, one day at a time, one day at a time, and you, you eventually get there. Back up, back up, back up, back up. I am always going to speak from a place of, of pursuing championships. And now I can't promise you when that will reveal itself, when it will show up. I can't, I can't promise you if it'll happen with us. But what I know I want for each of our players, I want them to be champions. Why? I know what it feels like to be a champion. It is incredible. It is something that no one can ever take away from you. And I want that for them individually as players. I want that for them as a group of, of, of players together. And I want them to have, for that to happen with us. In our organization, we pursue championships. We conduct ourselves in a championship manner. Uh, and in that results championship success.